Yo, what is up guys? Uh, thanks for tuning back in. Today we're gonna do a quick one. We're gonna go over um, something that's very important. So, here we go. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna go over uh, injector dynamics, ID 1300X series. I'll let you guys know uh, my review for them. I've had them now for a, uh, a year and some change. So I can tell you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly. So. Let's get into it and um, I'll do a cold start so you guys can see how the car idles with the injectors and then I'll do a warm start and I'll, I'll show you guys how it idles when it's warm and then um, I'll talk about the, the, the good and the bad and um, yeah so let's get into it let's hop into the car here we go all right so let's do a cold start the car is on straight E85 right now. So let's start it, let's put it in neutral. I don't wanna freaking crash. So it is um, summertime right now. Probably like 90 degrees outside. So you guys can see it started up pretty quick. Uh, let the car idle for a little bit warm the car up and uh, I'll show you guys uh, how the car idles with uh, E85 injectors and then you guys can tell me what you think so we're letting the car warm up right now one of the reasons why I got the injector dynamics after doing a bunch of research is I wanted an injector that maintained pretty much OEM drivability something that wasn't going to be bogging something that was going to be reliable and it's like you get for what you pay for guys so if you cheap out of the injectors and you got everything else you're not gonna you're not gonna utilize your full performance parts so after a bunch of research I went with these ID 1300s because of the the drivability I was gonna go with the ID uh, 2200 or 1700 and I heard it was kind of wishy-washy in between them so I ended up going with the ID 1300 X series because they're so much more reliable and look at the idle guys like it's like idling like perfect like I swear idles better now tuned on E85 and force induction than it did like just the OEM. So I'll give you guys a little uh, walk around of the car and we'll still let the car warm up. So that's it for that. I showed you guys how I idled, cold start. And let's go over why, uh, why I think this uh, company is one of the best bang for your buck. So let's see, um, where's the box at? Uh, I don't know where I put it at. But, 
Okay, so let's just go over it. So the good is the OEM drivability, um, alternative fuels. What else is there? Um, a lot of tuners tune on them. They're the quality, high quality. And let's go over the only thing that I can think of that's negative. The only thing that I think is negative about these injectors is the price tag, guys. Um, I bought these in 20, shoot, like 2021, like January, the beginning of it. And they were like a thousand dollars. So I don't know how much they are now with like inflation and everything, but a thousand bucks for injectors, shit, that's a lot, you know? So that's the only bad thing I could say about the injectors. So if you guys are thinking about um, these ID 1300X series injectors and you're on the fence about it and you haven't seen anybody talk about them or like give their thumbs up or be like, you know what, they're good. Um, this is for you guys right here. Um, I think they're a great buy and you'll definitely be happy with them. So if you're on the fence about them, hopefully this can push you to the other side. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. I'm going to keep making videos for you guys.